Hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and here we are together with, again to talk about another topic. We're just going to go over some basics on routes inside Ember.js. So let's get started. I have already created a new project called the Route Example Project, and inside the project, I haven't created anything as of yet. I have, uh, I am running the, the serve command in another window here. So that way we can see that it's working. If we look inside our project here, we can see there's nothing happening as of right now. So let's go ahead and use the ember generate command to create a few files. First, let's uh, use ember g route, and that's how we create routes using the generate command to create two routes. Let's call one called papers. and one called staplers. Great. So now if we go here and look at our app, we don't have much else in here, but if we look inside routes, we have our papers route and our staplers route. And if we look inside here, we also, the generate command also created our handlebars files for papers and staplers. So let's just add some default text in here. We'll call this, this is the papers route. And we'll go to the staplers and we'll just paste what I just had there, but we'll call it staplers route. Now to access this, we can just go to the, to our command or to our Chrome web browser here and put in staplers. And here's our staplers. Or we can put in papers. And here's our papers. But of course we want to add links so that way our main application route can access it. So let's just keep this simple. We can, in the future you probably want to use something called an index route. But for now we'll go ahead and just uh, add some links here. So we can use what are called link to helpers. And link to helpers are really simple. They create links. Um, you need to use them with inside your Ember application to be able to navigate through it if you're navigating with inside the application. You can't just do an, a, uh, an anchor href text. That won't work. So with this link to it has two parameters here. One is the name to the, the link text name, so we'll just call papers, and the next is the actual route name, so that's papers, I'll add a break here, and we'll just copy and paste that, and we'll just call this staplers, and we'll call, we know the name of the route is just staplers like this. You can also, this is in just inline form, there's something called block form where you put a, a pound sign in front of it and you have to have a closing link to, but just for something simple here we can do it like this, inline. So let's save that, let's take a look at our Chrome browser, and now we have papers and staplers, Those, that seems to be okay. And just to make sure we can go back to the application route. We're going to go ahead and add a link to helper here. We're going to use this time, we're going to use block form. And, and if you use it in block form, that's because it's blocked because we have the pound sign there. We just need the name of the route. And they, the main route, the top route, is application. So I add it there. Great. So we click here. We're just going back to the, to the main routes. So click papers. This is the papers route staplers, this is the staplers route, and this goes back to the main route. And you're probably asking, why is it underneath here? So if you see here this outlet, this outlet tells Ember where to render when you change routes. So since we're in the main application route, when we click paper, this outlet displays what's in paper. Click staplers, this outlet displays what's in, what displays what's inside the staplers inside that outlet there. If you go to the click on the ember, uh, I have the ember, what's called an ember inspector installed. You can look at the Chrome 
uh, store and download the Ember Inspector from there, the plugins. And if you look at the tree, you can see here, or routes that is, you have a, a bunch of built-in routes. Uh, we won't get into these, but you can see here, here's our application route. And underneath the application route, we have our papers route, as well as our staplers route. So, and we also have a lot of other routes that are built in. We have a papers error, papers loading, a loading and error. So we can catch different error states. And there's also something called an index, and this is also a built-in route. We don't have to define these other, like, paper, we don't have to define the paper loading, paper error, or index specifically. Um, they are ready, they are there for us. So if I create an index template, it would appear when this outlet got rendered. Um, I don't want to get confused, you guys, but that's these are all the different routes that are just kind of built in after I created those two. So if you look at the router.js file, you can see it, it automatically added these two routes. So if we wanted to customize it, we can do something like this. We can put path, colon, and then we can give the name of a path. So let's say we wanted the papers route to be in, I don't know, about for some reason. And maybe staplers we wanted to be, let's say, staplers, my staplers, my underscore staplers. So now since we've changed that, if, we're, if we click on the staplers, you can see the URL changed to my staplers. And if we click on papers, now it's on about. So one other thing to look at here, one other neat trick is we can go this dot route and let's say we wanted a wildcard route so that way if someone mistypes something inside the URL there that it redirected somewhere we can just do something like this page not found this can be any name you want and then we'll put the path in here and this time we'll do a slash star and you have to type in the name wildcard it has to be exactly like this with wildcard there and now we just need to create a template. So we'll go to our, our templates here. So our templates folder. So we'll click, um, we'll add child. So we'll add something called page not found HBS. So there it is. We call this h1 not found. So now with our new route, so let's say we're in the URL here and we type in something crazy. So now we get a big not found. So it, it routed to the not found route here just by using this inside the router using this page not found. So these are just a, a very few quick things on routes. There's a lot more to look about. If you look at the Amber.js guides, there's redirection, there's query parameters, there's uh, specifying, you can look at the route the route model, you can add error states, asynchronous routing, um, dynamic segments, but for this easy, for this quick tutorial, we'll just leave it at that. In the future, I'll go over some more of these topics. Once again, if you like these videos, subscribe below to them. Also, please check out my Ember.js cookbook. It, the link's in the description below and my site at program.eric.com. Thanks.